Hi guys, welcome back to Whole Wellness. My name is Anne. Thanks for tuning in. My husband and son just left for the evening walk with the dog and I am sitting under the sun lamp. So I am very shiny this evening and excuse the mess in the kitchen, but I've been working on this project while I've been sick. It's something to do, something to pass the time clean up space on my phone, delete old pictures and videos that I don't need anymore. And I stumbled across this video that I saved a while ago and had forgotten about. And I don't think I shared it with you guys. And I'm so excited to share it again. This is the big tell of a narcissist. This kind of thing never happens with most people. I don't think most people have the opportunity to catch their narcissist in action with something visually so profound. It is a video of my entire, not the entire office, most of the members of the office that I worked for at that time collectively. And what you're watching for in this video, I just wanna set the stage before you watch it. And I'm gonna replay it two or three times for you so that you can see the back-to-back -back segment of this video and have a good, view of what's going on before I come back and wrap the video up. So the company I worked for at the time um, that I had this triggering job experience, they were having a Christmas special. The idea was that they would give out different coupons and gift cards and overnight stays and dining specials and things of that nature to people who saw the video, commented on the video, and then they would have these drawings, so they said, where they would pick at random one of the individuals who commented on the video. So in one of the features, this was day five of this particular 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, and so our office had picked five people along with a man who dressed up as Santa Claus in the middle. And so we are being videoed for this giveaway. And I was chosen by the videographer, the person taking the video, which was our head of marketing at the time, who ironically is the narcissist who selected me as her flying monkey. Keep in mind, I had no knowledge, no awareness whatsoever of what narcissism was during my tenure there. If you've missed any of my prior videos where I talk about this, I'm gonna just give you a real quick recap during this triggering job experience of mine that woke me to my narcissistic past. Um, one of the things I didn't realize that was happening at the time, it was so traumatizing for me, was that I not only had this one coworker uh, attach to me and pick me to be one of her flying monkeys in her pursuit of this other coworker and taking her down, I was also chosen by this coworker's target to be her target. So this triangulation that I was a part of, which was what the professionals talk about all the time is narcissism occurs quite frequently in a triangulation type situation. I had no clue what I was dealing with and there were these two women one had picked the other one as a target and one had picked me. And this one who had picked this other one as a target selected me to be her flying monkey. Meanwhile, I got the heebie-jeebies about this one and she had picked me as her target. An extremely chaotic and stressful atmosphere for me who was completely ignorant, completely nonchalant, professional, easygoing person at work, didn't want anything to do with the drama. I was tormented in this job with this drama between these two and one pulling me one way and one pulling me other way, one victimizing me, one elevating me. So to set the stage, that was the environment that I was in. The other players in the video that you're about to see were pretty much innocent bystanders, honestly. The gentleman dressed up as Santa didn't even work in our office. He was just hired to dress up as Santa. And I was chosen by our director of marketing, which was this lady, the one who had selected me as her flying monkey for this lady. 
and this lady is standing immediately to my right in the video. We got our elf hats on and everything, and you can recognize me. Obviously, I'm the big girl that's not, you know, edited out with the fog over her face, but I was chosen to be the speaker in this video because, as you well know, the narcissist always wants to flatter the flying monkey and get the flying monkey the props and the attention and the kudos so that the flying monkey has no clue that what they're really doing is that they're being used. So, of course, I was completely ignorant to all that. And I just thought that the director of marketing just wanted me to speak in the video. And so the narcissist who wanted me to speak in the video is not actually in the video. She is behind the camera taking the video. Now the narcissist in this video that was my Achilles heel through the five years that I worked for this company and the one gratefully that woke me up to what narcissism was and my past and the way I was raised. She is the person as I mentioned immediately to my right in the video. Each person in the video is looking straight at the camera as instructed prior to the video rolling. And each person's head stays forward, faced on the camera, speaking the lines that we were told to speak while the camera is rolling. The only movement out of the entire video, and I cut this clip out of the whole video. The whole entire video is about a 45 second video with me speaking about the drawing, the name and all this other stuff. But I clipped this segment out of this 10 second segment out of this 45 second video, but the entirety of the video, no one's head moves from this position, looking straight at the camera. As I'm talking, this is about the only movement you see in my head. No one else's head does anything either or everybody else while I'm talking is just silently looking straight at the camera, except for the narcissist to my right. Watch her very carefully. She's the one that has the small white circle over her face, but she's the only person in the video and here's the towel. She turns about three, four seconds into the video. She's in the middle of the talking. She does this number. She turns and she looks directly at me, daggers in her eyes. She turns and she looks right at me as we're videoing and she's supposed to be facing the camera. Then she realizes, it's like for a second, she pauses and she's looking at me with daggers in her eyes. She realizes what she's doing and she flips her head back, overcorrects herself. And instead of going like this and just turning casually back to the camera, she overcorrects her head and goes back this way and then put, brings her head back. So she doesn't just realize, oh shoot, you know, I'm not looking at the camera. I gotta look at the camera. She goes, oh, I gotta look at the camera. She overcorrects herself once she pulls her head away from me. This is the narcissist's tell me she's the only person in the video that looks at me because she cannot stand the fact that I was chosen by the director of marketing to be the speaker for this video. This narcissist hated me to the very core and she was so jealous of me. I don't really know why because there's not a whole lot about me to be jealous of but this is the narcissist ploy. You can be just you, whatever it is about you. But generally, it's a person who's very kind, very friendly, very funny, easygoing, professional, good at their job, smart, you know, kind of has it all together. I don't have a whole lot of drama in my personal life. And, and I think that just rubs a narcissist the wrong way. It just pisses them off that you have it together. And this was the case with this woman. But you guys take a look, see if you can pick up on this, and I'll circle back after the video.
So there it is. I personally know what's happening in this video. I'm sharing it with you in the event that you've been in a narcissistic relationship and you need cues to pay attention to that's gonna be the narcissistic tell. Every narcissist has one. You just have to watch. And they give away their true feelings about people. You just have to watch. Now they're not always gonna be this blatant. I just was fortunate, but I'm very, grateful that I stumbled across it because I personally had the opportunity on numerous occasions to get away from this narcissistic relationship and this narciss this narcissistic work relationship and this narcissistic toxic job much, much earlier than I did. However, given all, I don't think I would have voluntarily went to counseling in the aftermath had it not gotten as bad as it did had I not stuck it out or tried to make it work or tried to improve things or tried to help people I was on the fast road to codependency back then and I'm glad that I got off that fast track and got on the track to healing because it has spared me so much more pain it's brought healthy to my family that action of mine took a year for me to get to the point. I was gone from that job for a year before I finally sought counseling. That's how bad it got. And let me tell you, when I've said in the past that I'm stubborn, that's what I mean by stubborn. Don't be stubborn. Don't be a tough person. A lot of people are hooked on this toxic positivity thing where to be strong is to be a good person and to always be kind and blah, 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 blah. That's a lot of rhetoric for just be walked all over and keep smiling. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't settle for less than what you're owed in your owed human dignity and respect. Just by virtue of being a human being, it doesn't mean you're elevated above anybody else. Doesn't mean I'm elevated above anybody else myself but it means I should be treated decently, average. Not given any special circumstances, but not shat on either, like this coworker did to me. Picking up on the narcissist tells are not easy, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. If your gut is telling you that something's not right, trust yourself. That's the biggest disservice we do to ourselves when we're unhealthy is we don't trust our guts. Once you give someone a second chance, you give them a third chance, it's done. If you think that they might have changed, they need to prove it to you first. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, take care of yourselves. Until next time, thanks so much for tuning in to Whole Wellness with Anne. Take care, guys. Stay healthy. Bye.